Well, we're working with masks here in Sony Vegas. I've been fiddling around with Vegas for a few months now, so I'm not really an expert, but just fiddling around lately with these masks, I figured I could give a suggestion for some of these uh, very long um, processes of cutting around figures. Sometimes you have to do it basically frame by frame and it becomes very tedious. But a good way to save time on this tedious work, instead of advancing one frame at a time, you can advance about five frames ahead and adjust the mask like five frames ahead and once you've done that let's see let's let's do that now let's select select just the pieces that we want just the the anchors that we need here the anchors that we want to move whoops didn't get that quite good we've got a few too many anchors here so we can actually delete some they tend to pile up sometimes okay get rid of some of these anchors that makes it a little easier to work okay just select the anchors that we need I pressed shift and then I click so that um, whoops let's click on these okay there we go I press shift and click to add in the ones that I want selected add to the selection okay when it's highlighted yellow that means you're above the one that you want okay then I'm just gonna pull these up As these are coming up, I'll begin deselecting the ones that fall into place. Deselect this one. I'll adjust the underarm area afterwards. I'm just worrying about getting the arm here into place. Okay, deselect this. Keep coming on up. Deselect this. What I did here was use an out feather, which seemed to work fairly good with a value of two. And basically, you have to bring your anchors a little bit further inside your figure, <coughs> and you get sort of a smooth smoothed out cut you don't get such a harsh cut it sort of smooths it out around the edges <coughs> okay unfortunately I lose the ones I selected but I I, you can also drag them around with the mouse. Sometimes that's a bit quicker. Just click on the ones you need, drag them around with the mouse into place. I still have quite a few anchors here. I don't really need all that many. But see that you want to pull these anchors a little bit further into your figure. <coughs> because otherwise you get too much of a border because of the feather option you gotta cut into them a little bit more okay get this shoulder area fixed up better the underarm area rather all right so before I do any the other parts of 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 the of the body, um, let's just go back a few frames and see how between the last frame and this frame, 
it's created automatically some of the in-between frames okay this isn't so good of an example because she moves quite a bit but basically see how the anchors actually begin following the arm here they sort of go up with the arm so basically you have less work to do in the in-between frames uh, pulling the anchors into place that's it just uh, going ahead a few frames will actually um, get your anchors closer to where they're supposed to be in the in-between frames which will save you a bit of work